Derivation of the resistance of a wire. Now we'll derive the equation for the resistance R of a length of wire L having a cross-sectional area A and being made from a material of resistivity rho. So cross-sectional area A, length L, and we're looking for the resistance. Into the large circles in the figure, draw arrows to show the direction of conventional charge flow and the direction of conduction electron flow. So if the electric field is pointing to the left, then that's the direction that conventional charges would flow. Conduction electrons would flow in the opposite direction. Into the rectangles, indicate which portion of the cross section has the higher potential V and which has the lower potential. The electric field goes from higher potential towards lower potential. That is the direction it points. Letter C. Think back, what is the equation that relates the separation between capacitor plates D, the electric field strength E, and the voltage between plates? I'm not sure if you remember this. We have gone over it in this series of videos right there. The voltage difference V over the distance L that's in the figure conforms to this answer. So let's modify that answer to account for the variables we have in this problem. We have V, we have E, but in the figure, it's not D that we're looking at, it's L. So we're going to change this equation from V equals E times D to V equals E times L just for the moment. We're going to use that here in the next couple of minutes. All right, write the no denominators form of Ohm's law. We haven't really covered Ohm's law, but perhaps you have in an earlier physics class, or maybe you've just heard of it. It's very well known. V equals I times R. Resistivity rho, besides being the reciprocal of conductivity, is also defined as being the electric field strength divided by the current density. Write that equation. Resistivity is also defined as being the electric field strength divided by the current density, which has the variable j. Write the equation that is the definition of current density. Current density, j, is current per area. Based on everything above, derive the equation for the resistance R of a wire having the physical properties A, L, and Rho, and then go outside and play. Hmm, I wonder why it says that. Well, let's recopy what we have here in this space. From the previous page, we have V is equal to E times L. There is J is equal to I divided by A, and then we also had V is equal to I times R, and then the other thing we had was Rho is equal to E divided by J. Based on those four things, we need to write an equation for resistance R. V needs to disappear because what we can have is we can have A in the equation and L and Rho, so V needs to disappear. I think what we can do here is we can say E times L is equal to I times R. Right there. E times L, that looks right to me. L, we want to hang on to. So no touchy that. But we need to get rid of I. How can we get rid of I? How about, let's use this top equation, I is equal to J times A. I is equal to J times A. And... A is one of those that we want to hang on to, so don't touch that. But E and J are no good. We can't have those. E and J, let's see, that's in that equation right there. Let me put the J on the other side. Divide both sides by J. It disappears there. And then E over J turns into rho. And rho is okay. So it looks to me like R is going to equal rho times L divided by A. And that's why we are encouraged at this point to go outside and play, because it kind of looks like the word play. 